It's no wonder the U.S. Army are testing new laser weapons to add to their arsenal. Lasers have many benefits over traditional weapons in that they're faster, cheaper, and potentially more lethal than traditional kinetic firearms. This is why the U.S. military has been experimenting with a variety of lasers that are already being introduced into the battlefield. Let's take a look at some of these. The way laser weapons work is that they amplify and concentrate light particles into a beam that heats up wherever it's aimed at. This massively concentrated heat is what damages or even destroys the target. Because this energy beam moves at the speed of light, the time between firing a weapon and impact is a fraction of what guns are capable of. The result is that it can make it easier to hit objects that are moving fast, like drones or missiles. The other key advantage of lasers is that they solve the issue of being bound by ammo. Unlike traditional kinetic weapons, these weapons can keep firing as long as they're connected to a power source. Although the initial build is expensive, at least at this moment in time, experts predict the cost per shot could get to as low as $1. These types of weapons have received a lot of military investment. More than 30 nations, including China, India, and the UK, are discovering laser potential, and the US military is dedicating $1 billion a year to the cause. In February 2022, a huge milestone was marked when the US Navy used an all-electric, high-energy laser weapon to defeat a target representing a subsonic cruise missile in flight. This was the first time they had done this. The weapon is known as the Layered Laser Defense, or LLD, and was designed by engineering giants Lockheed Martin to serve as a multi-domain, multi-platform demonstration system. It is to be used against unmanned aerial systems like drones and fast attack boats with a high-power laser. It also uses its high-resolution telescope to track air threats, support combat identification, and conduct battle damage assessments of engaged targets. LLD is capable of a wide range of defense measures, from optical dazzling to disabling of sensors or the destruction of a target if needed. This is a large laser that's being mounted on U.S. warships, but these are costly and unwieldy. The U.S. Army is also testing smaller lasers. A new weapon developed by military contractor Northrop Grumman could push mobile laser tech out of the prototype stage. It's called the Phantom, and the company has already delivered it to the U.S. Department of Defense. The Phantom is only around the size of a mini-fridge and weighs just 200 pounds. The advantage of this is that a pair of soldiers could carry it wherever it's to be used. And because it's nestled inside a hard-wearing and shock-absorbing enclosure, it can withstand harsh field conditions. The system does need power to work but only 10 kilowatts in comparison to the 300 kilowatt weaponry courtesy of Lockheed Martin. As a result, it's nowhere near as destructive as that weapon, so it's not going to take out bombers or hypersonic missiles, but it's still capable of destroying small and mid-sized drones. Despite the weapon's limitations, it does seem to be one of the most portable military lasers available. The U.S. Air Force has also been looking into their own laser weaponry and theirs can be palletized for deployment. Towards the end of 2022, the U.S. Air Force Life Cycle Management Center and Raytheon Technologies successfully tested their first palletized high-energy laser weapon. This was during four days of continuous live-fire exercises at White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. This new weapon was the first 10-kilowatt laser built to U.S. military specifications in a standalone configuration that can be moved and mounted anywhere it's needed. Although it has the same power as the portable U.S. Army laser we looked at earlier, it's been designed to be transported using vehicles rather than by troops. It's known as H-4, as it is the fourth operational laser weapon system that Raytheon Technologies has delivered to the U.S. Air Force and the eighth in total provided to the U.S. Department of Defense. The H-4, like the other weapons we've looked at, is primarily aimed at protecting people and assets against short-range aerial threats. As part of the testing in New Mexico, it successfully passed the Air Force's assessment plan. 
This included multiple days of live fire exercises to find, target, track, and destroy drone targets in different attack formations, which included short range attacks, swarm attacks, and long range threat scenarios. Although it needs a vehicle for transportation, it's small enough to fit in the bed of a pickup truck. The laser weapon system itself has a high energy laser weapon module a long-range EOIR sensor that also operates as the beam director, thermal control, internal electrical power, and targeting software. This is then all packaged up for use in the most difficult environments. It's then operated with a relatively simple setup, a laptop, and a video game-style controller, which can plug into a long list of existing air defense as well as command and control systems to provide the necessary layer of protection. The Raytheon system was built in the world's first laser weapon factory in McKinney, Texas, and delivered to the Life Cycle Management Center just nine months after receipt of the order. Going back to the U.S. Army, now it appears as though the trend to mount lasers on existing vehicles has continued as they have recently just fielded its first laser weapon equipped unit, which could be the first of its kind in the entire world. This is based at Fort Sill, Oklahoma where the unit acquired four laser-equipped Striker Infantry combat vehicles with a 50-kilowatt class laser weapon system included on each. This combination of Striker and laser, called DEM Shorad, can take out both drones and artillery such as mortars and rockets in flight. It might well be the best example of portability and firepower in one that the U.S. military has to offer. The onboard generator powers the laser and the vehicle also sports airborne threat detection, tracking, and targeting equipment. This provides a self-contained system that doesn't need an entourage of support vehicles, which can roll out and provide aerial cover for other forces like striker, tank, and mechanized infantry companies. A laser can burn the wings or rotors off of a flying drone, or it can also destroy a drone by burning out the onboard circuitry. If the operator wanted to play dirty, it could also blind any cameras human operators use to steer the drone, or if the drone had fuel-based motors, it could torch this to ignite the unit. All of these units promise to be the future of warfare, as traditional weapons are likely to be phased out in favor of these super-efficient and super-accurate weapons. What do you think about these lasers? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.